Hey! Hi! So what we thought we'd do today, apart from being a little bit blurry... <laughs> but his ears! Oh yeah, the cat's here to join us. Um, is we're gonna answer some random questions from the website randomwordgenerator.com We've done a couple of these before, haven't we? But we've not done one in a very long time. Yeah. So, seeing as there's not much else to do these days, we thought we'd do another random questions vlog. Uh, by the way, yes, I'm wearing my dressing gown. <laughs> Uh, and also, we were going to put this camera on a tripod, but... You've lost the piece for it. But yeah, not only <laughs> have I lost the bit that attaches the camera to the tripod, but stop licking me, the cat's licking me. <laughs> um, but it keeps going really sunny and then really dark, so I feel like where we normally do the vlogs, it would have just been yeah. ridiculous. Anyway, let's answer some random questions. We're going to keep the answers quick, Lauren. <laughs> We're just gonna get in bits of the cat in. But let's let's do it. So the first random question is: Is if your food is bad at a restaurant, would you say something? Yes. I'm not paying for bad food. I'm not fussy. I'd probably just eat it. I used to work in um, a pub. Oh God, a star. <laughs> no, and I know a lot of people like this used to happen all the time would eat like the entire plate of food and then you'd go and clear the stuff away at the end and you obviously ask them, is everything all right with your food? And they'd go, no. <laughs> and you're like, well, you've eaten it all. So I'd rather say something there and then if, if my food's not right because it just looks like you're trying to scam them if you eat the entire plate of food and then yeah. say it wasn't okay. <laughs> so yeah, I do speak up if my food's not okay because that's just a jerk move. I'm not paying for food that's not nice. I'll just say that Lauren doesn't speak up when her food's not right. What oh, she no, does I is do. she complains to me, and then I have to speak up and say, "Oh, no, excuse I usually, me. no, I usually have to get you to go like to get somebody. I'm not down for that, but I will say if my food's bad." Let's move on to the second question. When was the last time you took some time to be alone? <laughs> A little bit difficult at the moment. I, I like my time alone. I'm more than happy to spend time alone doing nothing with nothing but my own thoughts. Just like that's my MO in life, just to be alone. Just to like <laughs> chill out on my own. I'm happy away. Lauren's like <clears throat> Lauren's like Buddy right now. She <laughs> no. always needs attention. No, it depends. Like I'm quite happy like if Josh goes out for an evening or whatever, I like that time alone and I'm quite happy to like cook myself some nice food and watch Netflix. Um but I couldn't be on my own all the time, even though I don't like people. <laughs> I'm a very complicated character, like I don't like going out with other people, um <laughs> and being I'm not very social. So I, in that respect I do okay, but then like I like your company. Like I'm aware that sounds very artistic as well. <laughs> I like going out and being sociable and stuff and, and spending time with people. But also... But I don't. But also, I would more than happily go to a restaurant on my own and have food on my own. I would more than happily... Whereas that's my idea of an utter nightmare. No! Like, I don't to like the seeing cinema. people on their own. I feel sorry for them. Especially men. I don't know why. I feel really, like, sorry when I see men on their own. Don't, because if they're anything like me, then they're having a whale of I'm a time. I'm a very complicated character. <laughs> really are. So, stop. The cat is really, like, licking... My dressing gown. It's very excited right now. It's got the wettest nose. Hello, Baba. Let's move on to question three, which is... If you could disinvent one thing, what would it be? Coronavirus. <laughs> yeah, we'll go for that one right now. Coronavirus. Done. That's not really invented, though, is it? Maybe the chi crazy Chinese markets where it all happened. That's a... That's a good Can't point. Can say that? Yeah. <laughs> Let's just go on to the next question. If you could change one thing about your upbringing, what would it be? I don't think I'd change anything. No, I don't either. Like, I wouldn't change anything about any of my life. Like, I've... I've... I've done some... Jesus. <laughs> I've done some, like, bad stuff in my time. But, like, I suppose it all adds to your character and it's all part of life's rich tapestry, so... No, I don't think I'd change anything. I had, I had quite a good childhood. So, yeah, I agree with that. We're in agreement. The cat just sneezed, but we're in agreement. Did you have a good childhood? 
Next question. What's the craziest or most out of character thing you've ever done? I don't think I ever do anything out of character. <laughs> this is not painting me in a very good light. I can't really think of anything for me. No. Because that's... No, neither of us do, have done anything like really crazy. But you're obviously quite forward anyway. So there's nothing... I think going There's on, nothing really that you wouldn't take on. I think us going on a date that I initiate is quite out of character for me. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm always the one that's like, let's do something, let's have a date night, and it's very rare that you suggest anything. You're not very romantic. So anything romantic's quite out of character for you. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm like, let's just stay in and watch documentaries about space. <laughs> Which is like, I don't no. Know. I don't really, like I said, I don't really do anything out of character. I'm very set in my ways. It's like a pensioner. <laughs> so, the next question Who are you becoming? A Jedi? <laughs> what? <laughs> who are you? What? I don't even understand that question. Who are you becoming? Yeah, like, are you becoming your dad? Or. Oh. Like, I think I'm becoming my dad. Yeah, but you've always been like that. I don't know. I think I'm quite. I do have a lot of my dad's personality traits, um, but I look like my mum. I don't think I look like my dad at all, um, apart from my chin dimple. <laughs> I look like my dad, um, like I just take after my dad, yeah. and and more and more as the years go by, I'm just becoming my dad. Yeah, apart from you've not gone grey as early. No. Much to your disappointment. I'm working on it. <laughs> Next question. What do people do too much of today? Play on the phones. We, we, we can't say anything. I do it a lot less than you. <clears throat> yeah, but you do it like in bed and stuff. <laughs> Whereas like I will read. Yeah, like now that we've got Disney Plus, I'll just stick on an episode of Simpsons and watch that before bed. And you're really bad for games on your phone. Like, you see an advert and download it straight away. I see away. an advert for a game, and it's like, I bet you couldn't do this level, and I'm like, oh, I bet. I bet I could, I bet I could. I'm going to download this game. And then I play it, and then I see another advert on that game that's like, I swear, you'll never get past level five. And I'm like, I bet I can. So I download it. <laughs> Honestly, those adverts were made for people like you. It just goes on like that. Um, but still, yeah, I'm going to stand by me. My uh, my initial answer of people play with their phones too much, especially Lauren. Yeah, true. Next question: What do you wish you'd accomplished by now in life? I don't really have any wishes like that. Like, I don't no, think about it. It's um, not like it's not like a compare. Obviously, myself. like I could say, I wish I had a big house and. I wish I'd accomplished winning the lottery. More money. I don't play the lottery, but I wish I'd have accomplished it. I don't know. Ask me that in a few months' time and my answer might be getting married because... <laughs> we're supposed to be getting married at the start of August and I'm not entirely sure that's going to happen. But no, I don't know. I don't really have any, like, long-term plans. No. Um. Stop the cat licking my dressing <laughs> gown. Yeah, I would like, I would like um, another home, but that's just not on the... I don't mean like a second home, I mean sell this one. No, I'll have a second home too. I love that. I mean sell this one and move home, but we knew when we bought this that we'd be here for quite a long time. Don't worry about it. But I would I would like a second home at some point in the next 10 years. And then we're going to do one more question, which is, are you willing to give the shirt on your back to someone who needs it the most? Oh no, I'm a selfish little bitch, me. <laughs> oh, we can't, I can't say that. Um, <clears throat> I don't know because there's a lot of I, I. I'm not. I'm not just someone that would go into that and just be like, oh yeah, take whatever. Like I, I factor in a lot of things. Like. I don't know. What have they done to be in that position? Yeah, I'd have to think about it. Like, you wouldn't automatically give them it <clears throat> if someone just came along and said, Oh, I'm sad, I need your shirt. <laughs> but, if there were, like, a legit reason... 
if a dinosaur Why ate the house, the <laughs> if the leg had fallen off, something like that, then yeah, fair enough, have my shirt, knock yourself out. But, although I'll say that Lauren would instantly give anything if it was a sad looking dog <laughs> or, you know, a cat with a limb. <laughs> if there's an animal involved, a wonky just donkey. Take it. But, so anything like that. Yeah, no, that is a very good point, actually. I am way more sympathetic and kind to animals than I am humans. I just, yes. We go back to the whole, I don't really like people. <laughs> so there you go, I'm sure you've learnt some stuff <laughs> about Lauren. Now, this got deep for me. Like, this was a real character assassination. character assassination for me. But, you know, I'm 30 next year. I don't think I'll be changing any time soon. <laughs> And I'm stuck with that. So, with that being said, we'll put a link to the to the generator thing down below in the description. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Give it a thumbs up if you <laughs> enjoy Buddy too. Look, Buddy. We don't enjoy Buddy licking the bed in. Dirty. And with that being said, we're going to get it gone. So we'll see you guys. Next time. Oh, my arm aches.